Hey guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to draw a curved wall. Alright, so we will be learning three types of methods on how to draw a curved wall. Let's get started. Alright, so firstly, come into your customization and go into your ceiling function. Alright, once you are in, click on to the platform design, which is on your floor. Alright. So right now, let's start by drawing a rectangular shape first. All right, so come right on top here and select rectangle. Okay, so you may draw a rectangular shape at the corner. So we'll be doing the first method on the right hand side. Okay, so after drawing a rectangular shape, okay, let's start by drawing a circular shape. All right, so right now, let's draw a circular shape. All right, so you don't have to do it perfectly because over here you may resize them okay so i'll resize it to 5000 according to my layout plan all right so my layout is actually 5000 so i key in 5000 all right so my edges i'll put in 400 okay so it actually looks like a perfect circle all right the side will be smoother all right so let me resize them to 5000 all right once it's done okay so right now we are going to use the boolean calculation method to draw our first curve wall all right so hold on to your control select the circle first okay select the circle first and then you select the rectangular shape right click onto it and then click on boolean operations and select take the difference all right so once you select take the difference it actually breaks into three parts okay so this part i don't want them Okay, so I can just delete it away. So over here, you may drag it manually, okay, or just key in zero and it will stick automatically onto your wall. All right. So right now, as you can see on the bottom right corner, okay, so I have already created my, my curved wall, just that my elevation right now is pretty low, okay, it's actually 10. So I We'll key in 2008 according to my wall height all right so if let's say your wall height is 3000 then you key in 3000 okay so i'll key in 2008 and as you can see if i return it looks something like that all right so this is the first method of doing a curve wall all right so right now i'll show you the second method right over here same thing click onto your platform design again okay so right now we'll start by drawing a rectangular shape okay so right now we are going to draw a slightly bigger rectangle okay so if just now you notice um, i actually draw a smaller rectangular shape and a bigger circle right now we uh, turn it over okay turn it around we draw a bigger rectangular shape and then we draw a smaller circle all right so over here, same thing, change the width according to my layout plan. Okay, 5000 and then my age, I'll change it to 300. Okay. So once it's done, you may key in a number to place them. Okay. Okay, and then right over here, I'll put a 10. Okay, I don't want it to stick all the way to... The wall i'll just key in 10 all right so same thing right now we are going to use the boolean calculation method but right now we are going to select the rectangular shape first and then only we select the circular shape all right so it's slightly different from just now what i did i actually select the circular shape first only, only then i select the rectangular so turn it around okay because right now i want my curve to be inwards my over here my curve is actually outwards Okay, so, uh, so uh, hold on to your control, select the both of them, right click, boolean operation, same thing, take the difference. Alright, so right now, as you can see right over here, I already have my inwards curve, okay, so I can just put my elevation according to my wall height. Okay, and when I return, it looks something like that. Alright, so this is... The first method and this is the second method of creating a curve wall all right so right now the third method okay the last method which is if let's say you have already draw your curve wall yeah inside your autocad okay or your 
you have a 2D drawing, you may import it, okay? Just come right over here, upload the floor plan, okay? And then make sure you select the file, okay? DXF, okay? So from DWG, make sure you convert it to DXF format and then open it, all right? So this is the three methods of how to draw a curved wall, all right? Good luck trying, guys.